I know Chiggs is in here recording or some shit. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. But I you like got you. your boy Chiggs Smooth. Pick a side, pick a side. This seems to be the common theme in hip hop, especially with all the beef going on. Now, I'm sure you guys all saw the Instagram live with Joe Budden, Royce, and Joel Ortiz. Rory and Maul had their take on it. I'm not sure how many of you guys saw it, but I thought it was pretty interesting. Basically, Rory saw both sides and was understanding. Maul sort of took it personally. He ended up siding with Joel and Cricket Eye. Now, Royce the 5'9 caught wind of Maul's response. He went on Joe Budden's podcast and basically told Maul to stay away from him. He wasn't feeling what Maul said. Obviously, took it personal because I think that they had a relationship. And now we have a response from Maul. Here's what he said about it. Royce was on our, our former podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and he said, he said something that, that threw me off. He was talking about Joel and Crook, and I understood that. That didn't throw me off, but he said, keep all that negative Joel, Crook, Maul energy away from me. That threw me the fuck off. I was like, wait, what did Maul do? <clears throat> um, you know, and you know, people sent me the clip uh when it happened when it when it came out. And people had the same questions for me. Like, you know, they missed what I said. And I was like, I was confused. I didn't know what happened. But um, I thought long and hard about it. You know, I listened to it. And, um, you know, I I decided I don't I don't want to address it publicly. Okay. Um, because I feel like if those were the emotions behind something I said, uh, it's a it's a personal relationship there. Mm. Um, and I think, I, I think, well, I hope that Royce knows that I have nothing but love and respect for him, that I have nothing but love and respect for Joel. I have nothing but love and respect for Crook on my platform and talk negative, negatively about people, whether I know you're not, especially if I know you and I have a personal relationship. I'm not sitting on here talking neg negative, negatively about you. So I won't address it because I don't want to get into it because I, I feel like that's a personal conversation that hopefully Royce and I one day have. Yeah. But um, away from that, I don't. Music comes out. You put music out. Things happen. You know, I may not like a record. I may not like a song. That doesn't mean I don't like the artist. That doesn't mean I have a I feel some type of way toward the artist or whatever. I just think it's a it's a thing right now where, you know. I don't know where emotions are or where true feelings are when it comes to me and certain individuals because of whatever reason. Maybe certain people don't like certain things I say on my platform. Maybe th people don't like certain decisions that I've made uh, or, you know, certain energy that I have towards other people. Like, I don't ever want the lines to get crossed. Mm. I think that, you know, I'm very clear in things I say. Uh, my intentions are neg never negative, like I said. People that I don't fuck with, no, I don't fuck with them. You That's know what fair. I'm saying that they don't, they don't have I to. That. that doesn't have to be questioned. If you, if Maul doesn't fuck with you, you know I don't fuck with you. If I have some feelings towards you, I'm not. You know that mm. I'm not fake. I'm not phony. Um, and it was it was just shocking to hear that type of energy directed towards me because I'm like, damn, I didn't even say nothing. You know what I mean? All I said was I don't think that they're wrong for moving on. But I would have said the same thing had it been the other way. Mm. I would have said the same exact thing. Like I support those guys in, in, in music and whatever they decide to do. You know what I'm saying? Like people obviously know my feelings towards, you know, one of the gentlemen now, but that doesn't mean that I have any energy towards the rest of those guys. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I was, I was really confused by that. But, um, we, we, we just were with Royce and Detroit. Yeah, like, so, you know, again, man, I, you know, I understand emotions are high right now and, you know, but I, it's, 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 it's respect for Royce for me always. And, you know, it's love for Royce for me always. So, you know, we'll talk, we'll talk one day about it. I and, hope you guys and, do. Oh, yeah, no, absolutely. Like, that, cause that was weird to me. I didn't, but I, I, I know what's and it's I in the moment. I understand what's going on right now. And, and even, with Royce, I don't know. He didn't really get into why it is with you. 
if he explained it, maybe I'd understand it. That's why it but threw that's me off because he said it and then there was no context to it. So I was like, Damn, right. wait, what? What but, I'd assume is is the clip that went up from our episode, but I don't, people take things the wrong I way. I agree. And listen, if Royce explained it, I'm sure <clears throat> if you guys really talked about it, he'd be like, oh, okay, I, that's how you up. took it. My bad. I didn't yeah, realize man, it. Yeah, man. Like I, that, I was just like, wait, what? Why is Maul in this mix with this? <laughs> Tell me what you guys think about this, man. And tell me who do you guys think is right or wrong. I'm a little under the weather, so sorry if I sound a little nasally, all right? Push comments below. Scratch my channel. I'll see you guys later, man.